And now we will have our module number 6 for our third quarter. So we have the same competency judging the validity of the evidence listened to. So we will start on page number number one. So we have three objectives. The first one is to determine whether a statement is a fact or opinion. Second, identify the evidence presented. And third, evaluate the validity of the evidence listened to. So in what I know part, you will read each item. Then you will select or choose the letter of the correct answer on your answer sheet. So you have to, to know what is being asked in each item. But for numbers 9 to 15, you will draw a happy face if the statement is valid and a sad face if it is not. So if the statement is really correct and you are really believing to the statement because it is fact it is correct then you will draw a happy face but if you are disagreeing with the statement then you will draw a sad face so it's 9 to 15 so for what's in almost the same direction with the previous activity, smile emoticon if the statement below is fact, then sad emoticon if the statement is an opinion. So again, when you say fact, pure fact, meaning all of the statements are correct. But when you say opinion, it might be true to you, but not for other people, meaning it is not universal. However, fact Wherever you go, whoever you meet, it is applicable because it's a fact. So you will simply answer by drawing smiley or sad emoticon if it's fact or opinion. For what's new, so you will study the advertisement of ABZ online store on their upcoming super sale then answer the questions below. So from this, you will answer this question. Do you agree that when you buy during the super sale, you can really save up some money? Why or why not? So it will be your own perception, your own idea. Do you think that the statement free shipping guarantees that you won't have to pay any shipping or delivery fees? when you order why or why not you can include your own experience is there any word or phrase in the advertisement that contradicts the idea of a super sale write it down so you will really analyze the information here when you say contradicts meaning opposite they are contradicting to one another for example is there any any information that shows goodness of their service then you notice did you notice some information that is opposite to what they have said so for what is it judging the validity of the evidence listened to every day you are bombarded by different information from facebook twitter and YouTube and other media applications. So there are news, videos, blogs, advertisements, and the likes. And they are all seen in different applications. Sometimes while we are watching videos, where we are watching blogs, there will be um, there will be a cut where there will be played advertisement for a particular product. So fake news and misinformation increase in number and spread quickly in just one click. So if we will be able to evaluate the validity of the evidence, 
presented in a piece of writing, you must have the characteristic of a critical thinker. So, it's our responsibility how we will become mindful and responsible of what we read. Because not all we can see on Facebook and different applications, we can say or we cannot truly say that they are correct. So, we should be mindful and be critical before we believe. So, whenever you have to listen to what other people say, you must examine if what is stated is valid. So, like what we had last time, that we should also analyze the sources. If how strong, how credible, how valid they are. So, according to MariahWebster.com dictionary, that validity is the quality or state of being valid as the state of being acceptable. So, how acceptable an information is. So, it is dependent on how they cite the sources, on how they give information that will support their claim, their product, or their ideas. So, being aware of the validity of what is said helps you to determine which information is significant and that will help you in making decisions in the future. So here are some important points that you must consider to make a sound judgment on the validity of what you hear or of what you heard and read. So when you say accuracy, it is freedom from errors or mistakes. So is it is the evidence up to date? Does it give the correct data? Where are the data obtained? Is it a fact or just a person's opinion? So when we say accuracy, we will check also the dates. Sometimes we are sharing some information, but we did not notice that that particular post were posted long time ago and not really a recent one so we should be mindful and also we should always check the where did the the post came from where are the data obtained meaning if we will analyze where what is the sources where is the source then we will simply identify if it's correct or not so we should always look to the time and even the source. So when we say credibility, something is said to be credible if gives reasonable grounds for being believed. So in our previous lesson, we learned about primary and secondary sources. So we should ask, is the author an expert in the field that the topic is about? Can he speak about the topic with authority and accuracy? Can you verify it with other sources? So what makes information reliable? So when we say credibility, we will refer to the one who made the post, the one who composed the post, the one who wrote the post. If he is or she, he or she is credible about speaking, about giving information for a particular post, profession for a particular topic or issue for example COVID-19 so before we believe to the updates about COVID-19 we should know who created who posted that because for example if it's only a personal point of view of someone who is not really professional about health issues related to COVID-19 then most probably that post is not that credible because the one who made or composed that post is not really um, a professional, a master of that issue. So we should always know who created that. So for example, if it's about COVID-19, so we will, we should expect that the one who composed about the updates are the people the ones are the people like under department of health 
world health organizations and the like so when we say reliability to make it easier for us to examine the reliability of the information ask yourself this question what makes information reliable is the information current is it related directly to the topic it discusses does it provide sources for supporting ideas are these sources reliable is the purpose of the information to inform to persuade to sell or even to entertain has the information been written and published recently does a date of publication appear finally who is responsible for the information is an author or publisher listed at all so when you see reliability we really go deeply in the content because if we will analyze all of the details how they presented the details who are their resource or who are their sources where or when did they post it so we will see if it's really answering your question that the author is really reliable because he is professional he or she is professional about doing such particular issue then he is reliable or she is reliable and do if is it posted recently really timely and relevant to the issue that we are facing most probably that post is also reliable so as a student, we, you encounter some reading or listening materials which is to convince, persuade, or argue. So according to Orpiano and Berosil, a persuasive text provides the readers a certain point of view about an issue. This type, text type aims to influence or persuade. So like what we have discussed in our previous module, that when I say persuasive, it is getting or making your readers believe but before we believe in a particular text in a particular stand and circumstance we should consider these three the accuracy credibility and reliability so to be able to make a sound judgment on the validity of the information or evidence that is read watched or listened to you must be a good listener so critical thinking is a process used to think about and evaluate information and reach a conclusion so before we really believe in something before we share it to other people we should evaluate critically all of the details because if we will spread fake news therefore we will also spread spread threat and threat is something that will scare people and if that case will happen then there will be a misunderstanding and somehow regret in our part because we became a way of a fake news so we should always be critical and mindful so if we are doubting a particular text better to analyze it further or if we are really confused we can ask professionals or people that we know that they can really assess if the news is really credible accurate and reliable so for what's more you will write true or false so it's very easy it is based on what we have discussed a while ago so true or false true if it's correct false if it's not then for independent assessment one you will write the word valid if the speakers are really accurate credible and reliable then not valid if the links that you have watched because the links of the videos are also included here are all not that really affect so how will we say that 
a particular claim is valid if it's based from facts and not not combined with opinion but if it's opinion and a fact then it is not valid it is like fact and opinion so if it's a fact valid not valid if it is opinion for independent activity 2 you will put a check mark on the item that shows evidence to convince or persuade the reader or listener if it's not leave it blank so if it if you will read each item then if you notice that it is convincing it is persuading if it's making the reader to believe in something or the the one they are talking to then you will put a check mark but if it's not any giving influence convincing or persuading then leave it a blank for independent assessment two read the text carefully then answer the questions that follow is analysis of or about should the turtle lift on the lockdown an imagined debate by jc punong bayan so after reading that so there are dialogues up until seven but the questions will be located on page number eight so you will answer these questions after reading those dialogues that particular text for independent activity three on the space provided or simply you will just write on your answer sheet if you agree or disagree how will you know if you will agree or if you will disagree if the if it's a fact then agree if it's open opinionated or there are some statements which be considered as opinion only and it's not true to all then you can disagree so it's more on determining if it's a fact or opinion because once we master what is a fact from opinion then we will not be leading to fake news so we should be mindful of knowing what's really a fact and what is an opinion because sometimes opinion is true for some so that is the thing why we are confused with it but if it is not fact or true to all it's still opinion even though it is true to some because we will say that a thing is a fact if it's for everyone if it's true for everyone independent assessment three so the following are statements on why smart phones should be prohibited during class examine them carefully then put a check mark under the appropriate criterion or criteria to which the evidence follows or conforms so we have so you will just copy the table on your answer sheet but no need to rewrite the statement you will have one for the statement then accuracy credibility reliability after reading the statement each statement in each number you will check if it has accuracy if it has credibility if it has reliability so you will base it on what we discussed earlier so it's up until number five so what i have learned after accomplishing the previous activities you know that what you see or hear is not always true so you must examine it first before you believe it so write a short paragraph with five to seven sentences about what you have learned so what is difference between fact and opinion how or why should we be a mindful and critical listener and reader so for what i can do part we can see here that there is a lady giving a speech so her name is gina lopez environmentalist and former denr secretary 
as she speaks about the need to build an economy that is founded on love. Given below is part of her transcribed speech delivered at, a, at an event at TEDx. Then complete the table below by writing the pieces of evidence that show accuracy, credibility, and reliability. So if you cannot watch it, you can read it. But if you have internet access, you can type this link for you to really watch and listen to Gina Lucas. So here is the transcribed text. Then you will have this table on your answer sheet. You will put some of the lines that shows a you see some of the lines that shows credibility. I sorry, some of the lines that show accuracy, some of the lines that show credibility, and some of the lines that show reliability. So your answer will be gotten from the tra transcribed text or from the video you watched and listened. So for assessment, same procedure. You will just choose from A, B, C, D based on what is being asked in each item. Then check and cross mark if it's valid and X if it is not valid. So like factor opinion. So for additional activity, choose an article from a newspaper that shows claim of facts and pieces of evidence cut and paste it in your notebook based on the article you have chosen answer comprehensively the following questions so if you don't have newspaper you can simply watch on television listen to radio or even in youtube facebook and copy what you have there maybe a screenshot then send it to your english teacher but your answers will be passed on a separate sheet of paper. What piece of evidence are presented? Is it from is it from the OH or where does where are the information gotten? Who is the source? What is the source like that? You can also include that in number one. Then number two, write a word or phrase from the article that adheres to accuracy, credibility, and reliability. It's like you will just mention some of the lines from the one you have read, watched, or listened to that shows that show accuracy, credibility, and reliability. So words or phrases that show accuracy, credibility, and reliability. So there should be at least three, probably. Were you convinced by, all, by the author? So are you believing to the author? Then explain why. If it's not, why? And then if you are believing to the author, explain also. Is the source really reliable, accurate, and credible? So you can also include that in number three. So that will be all for our module number six about judging the validity of the evidence listened to. So if you still have questions, you are free to have message, to have private message with your teacher, with your English teacher for you to really answer and, <clears throat> and to acquire this learning competency which is about judging the validity of the evidence and li evidence listened to so because at the end of the day we are the ones who will benefit in knowing and judging a particular text because before jumping to conclusion before believing in a particular text we should be mindful and critical if that text is really worthy to believe in because sometimes we are just mocked, we are just confused, and it will lead to a threat, to, to a threat. And if we will be threatened by not true text or not valid text, then we will be a victim. Because it's not true, but we are threatened or threatened. 
So we should be always mindful before we begin. And we will be a responsible social media user if we also know how to evaluate a particular post if it's a fake news or not. So stay safe and God bless.